also look at some of the differences between commodities and, say, shares or bonds. Uh, many of them are obvious, but they're worth bearing in mind if you're going to invest in this market. And thirdly, we'll take a quick look at the way that commodities are traded and the way that an investor uh, can access commodities. So, what are commodities? Well, we see them all around us. The commodities markets influence the price of a gallon of petrol every time you fill up your car, the cost of a cup of coffee, whether bought from Starbucks or made at home, the price of the electricity flowing into your house and into the office. So commodities markets matter. They have a big bearing on our day-to-day -day lives. Um, but they're also an interesting opportunity for investors. First of all, some jargon. What types of commodity do we have? Most people could list plenty of commodities, but in the markets they're generally broken down into uh, several types. First of all, you've got the, the metals. So you have the, the non-precious metals. You have the lead, the copper, the nickel, the uh, aluminium, or aluminum if you prefer. And uh, those metals are commonly used by manufacturers and so on. So there's a market for trading large quantities of those non-precious metals. Then you have the precious metals, and precious metals can be broken down not by what you think is valuable, but actually by the market jargon and convention. So the precious metals are gold, which we talk about a lot at Money Week, silver, platinum, and the metal that you could make another wedding ring out of, but you'd also put into a catalytic converter, palladium. So those are the so-called four precious metals. And the metals are also known quite often as the hard commodities, for obvious reasons. Um, so that's one whole group.